Hello everyone. I am back. I want to make a couple more pages, at least hopefully a couple more pages in my um, scavenger hunt book for 2021. Uh, I'm really hoping to accomplish this by the, the time set that's on it. So uh, I, I'm just going to work away here. And I am doing my pages in order. Um, my prompts are not in order by any means. The pages are in order. Uh, when I get um, a few more pages in, I may take a few pages out of the center of this. But today, I have some feathers. I have some ribbon. I have another magazine image. Some jelly prints and some jelly print on a book page because book page is one of our things. I will probably use more book pages down the road, but I'm going to use that too. And I had, where did it go? I have a punch. Yes. I don't know why this punch is still in this container, but there it is. I have a feather punch, so um, let's see here. The first thing I want to do is get these taken care of so that I don't have to fight with them. I'm just looking at colors, guys. I've got quite a lot of color in my... Um, prints. I don't want to have this ribbon be stand out too much against the, the other things. This page is a little too busy. And I may go back in and actually work on that page more. Maybe actually outline some of the pieces with marker. Um, it's just not quite what I want it to be. Okay, so the ribbon has decided it will not, um, the tape won't go back on it. It's all stuck to my fingers. thought tying a ribbon around two feathers was going to be that difficult. I'm going to glue this little bow in so um, it's not a big issue. Um, the satin ribbon's not going to stay tied real well anyways, so glue will help it drastically. Okay. One of the reasons I have a second set of scissors on the table is because that pair does not cut fabric or thread very well. All right. Now then, I have my lovely little feather stamp, and I am going to take some of these jelly prints. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to just use one. I'm not going to use these other scraps because I like the idea of having all the same... family of color. Plus, 
plus I can get quite a lot of color out of this one piece, different colors. Now, I know for a fact that uh, I will probably have more jelly prints, and I will probably have more book pages. Um, I actually have jelly prints in as pages, so it's all right if you use the prompt more than once. See if that's enough.
this is another magazine image, so um, that will add to the list of magazine images I have used. Uh, you know what? I might go ahead and glue that down while, so that it's drying. Okay. Since I have to fussy cut this out, probably should have done that ahead of time. Um, and I am not worrying terribly about cutting this precisely on the um, line. The little bit of image I leave around the edge will actually make it stand out from the page a little bit. So. No, uh oh, I just tore my little bird. It's all right. we're gonna glue him down anyway. So if he's a little bit torn, he'll be all right. One of my other prompts was to make a border. So I took the jelly prints, punched them into feathers, and made a border. Which I really kind of like how it came out.
Oh, I love that page. It needs a tag with a page number on it. Let's see, where are we going to put this? there. Let me see. Oh, is it better up there? Oh, we're not going to get very much done today. Well, that's okay takes a while when you have um, all these little pieces that you want to get into a page. I Like I said, I did go ahead and um, make up a few. I've got a few of my page numbers ready so that you guys don't have to sit and watch me make my page numbers. But I need a plastic bag. Okay, so now we have to put our prompts into our... Um, into our list. This is page three and it says pet or animal and I would say a bird is an animal so that's page three. Um, Okay, like said I have to have a uh, magazine image is also on page three. I'm probably going to have a lot of numbers on pay on there. Um, a ribbon, page three. My feather is from page three. Jelly print is on page three. I'm looking for the border. You guys will probably find it before I do. Create a border, page three. So let's see, is there anything else? Gel, oh, book page. Well, I guess book paper is, is on page three too. Paper. We'll use it again because that's not a really great example of uh, book paper. But I really like how it came out. Um, I think that um, I'm really happy with that one. And uh, we'll be back again with a few more prompts. Do a couple more pages whenever I get a chance. Also, when I find things. You know, you have to find them, too, to make sure that you've got them. Anyways, guys, go have fun. Make some art. Oh, I forgot a quote. Let's read a quote. We need a quote from our book. This is a book called 1001 Ways to Creativity. If you do not expect the unexpected, you will not find it, for it is not to be reached by search or trail. Heraclitus. If you do not expect the unexpected, you will not find it, for it is not to be reached by search or trail. Interesting. Okay, guys, go have fun. Make some art. Bye-bye.